Learning Objectives At the end of this topic, you will be able to solve problems involving subtraction of decimals. The children listen and take notes on how to solve problems involving subtraction of decimals. Asha bought 2.346 kilograms of flour. She used 1.125 kilograms of the flour to bake a cake. What was the mass of flour left? First read and understand the problem by asking what is given. Bought 2.346 kilograms of flour. Used 1.125 kilograms of flour. What is asked for? Mass of flour left. Second, devise a plan. What operation is needed? Yes, subtraction. The next step is implementing the plan. We can use the blocks to represent the decimals and perform the operation to get the answer for 2.346 minus 1.125. The blocks represent 2.346 when we take away 1.125 from 2.346, the remainder is 1.221. So we can say the mass of flour left is 1.221 kilograms. The last procedure is checking the answer. Inverse of subtraction is addition. So we can check the answer by adding 1.125 and 1.221. The sum is 2.346. Danielle is reading a newspaper. There is a story about Asha in the sports section. Do you remember Asha, the gymnast who won the first place at the national level? Yes, Danielle. Why? She won a silver medal in the SEA Games. I remember her last score was 9.1. What's her score now? It says here 9.6. It's a difference of 0 0.5 compared to the national level. What is the score for the first place? Devi from Indonesia. Gold medalist with a score of 9.8. Oh, it's just a difference of 0 0.2. Asha could have won the first place then. She will one day, Anu. Anyway, she's already made India proud. Let's do some word problem. How much heavier is the tin of biscuits than the box of chocolates? Let's use the Cuisinaire rod to show the operation. 8 units represent 0 0.8 kilograms. Take away 3 units, which represent 0 0.3 kilograms. 5 units remain, which is 0 0.5 kilograms. 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3 equals 0 0.5 or 8 tenths minus three tenths equal five tenths. The tin of biscuits is 0 0.5 kilograms heavier than the box of chocolates. Let's use number line to solve this problem. The distance from Rohit's house to the bookshop is one kilometer. The distance from Rohit's house to the telephone booth is 0 0.3 kilometers. What's the difference of the distance between Rohit's house and the telephone booth? Collect information from the problem. Rohit's house to the bookshop is 1 km. Rohit's house to the telephone booth is 0 0.3 km. Devise and implement the plan using a number line. Write the problem vertically. Insert the decimal point and 1 0. Line up the decimals. Subtract 0 0.3 from 1.0. So 1.0 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7. Trade 1 tenths to 1s, 10 ones minus 3 is 7. The difference of the distance is 0 0.7 kilometers or 7 tenths. Look at the chart. Water level of a river was 6.8 meters on Monday morning. On Monday night, the water level rises to 9.4 meters. Find the difference of the water level. Collect information from the chart. Write the problem vertically. Line up the decimals. 9.4 minus 6.8 is 2.6 or 2 and 6 tenths. 
The diagram shows the volume of water in two measuring cylinders, P and Q. Cylinder P has 1.2 liters of water. Cylinder Q has 0.752 liters of water. Find the difference between the volume in liters of P and Q. First, we must understand the question by asking what is given. Measuring cylinder P 1.2 liters. Measuring cylinder Q 0.752 liters. What is asked for? The difference between the volume in liters. Then devise a plan to solve the problem. What operation should we use? Yes, subtraction. The next step is implementing the plan. 1.2 will be the minu end. 0.752 will be the subtrahend. Because 1.2 is larger than 1.752. 1.2 liters minus 0.752. Children, we can also work out a calculation using the place value chart. Let's look at the place value chart. Remember to line with decimal points. Now we can fill in the minu n and the subtrahend in the place value chart. 1.2 minus 0.752. Adding 0 after the decimal point does not change the value of the decimal. 1.2 is the same as 1.200. We subtract as usual starting from the thousands column. The answer is 0 0.448. So the difference in the volumes of water in cylinders P and Q is 0 0.448 liters. Lastly, check the answer by adding 0 0.752 and 0 0.448. The sum is 1.2. Let's solve some more problems. Adam has 10 meters of rope. He uses 4.653 meters of the rope. How many meters of rope does he has left? Understand the question by asking, what is given? 10 meters of rope and he uses 4.653 meters of rope. What is asked for? Length of rope left. Devising a plan. What operation is needed? Subtraction. The next step is implementing the plan. Let's work out the calculation on the grid. Remember, to align the decimal points. Adding zeros after the decimal point does not change the value of the decimal. 10 is the same as 10.000. 10, .000. 10 minus 4.653 is 5.347. That means the length of rope left is 5.347. Lastly, check the answer by performing the inverse of subtraction, which is addition, 4.653 and 5.347. The sum is 10. In this lesson, you have learned how to solve problems involving subtraction of decimals. To solve a word problem, read the problem and express what you're trying to learn in your own words. Identify the operation to be used. Translate the problem from words to math symbols. Solve the equation. When writing a decimal number that is less than 1, a 0 is normally used in the 1's place. To subtract decimals, line up the decimal points, use 0 as a placeholder. Whole numbers are understood to have a decimal point to the right of the one's place.